Let's face it, Casper's price action has been pretty damn boring over the last few weeks. As you can see here, we've been channeling between 15 cents and 12 and a half cents. But in this video, I'm going to talk about what are some things happening behind the scenes, some exchange listings, and also a way for you to make money, scalp profits, and keep the same position of Casper you have now. Take advantage of this sideways price action until we wait for the next big run up for the Casper token. If you like the content, if you like Caspa, make sure to subscribe to the channel, ping your notification bell. I do want to start with this. This was pretty damn big. This is from uh, Luke, the brand ambassador out in Australia. 15.79 million transactions. That is not in a lifetime. That is not in a month, a week. That was in one single day. The total number of accepted transactions from Caspa Network Last Tuesday, October 22nd, uh, it talks about since he's a visual person. Uh, to put it in a perspective, Casper's transaction volume last Tuesday was 2.1x the combined all-time highs of Bitcoin, ETH Classic, Litecoin, Bitcoin Cash, and Doge. These are all other proof-of-work uh, networks. Even more impressive, the surge was driven by the launch of just one token on KRC20, which saw massive support from the community. And here is the chart that Luke is talking about. Tw uh, 16 million trans uh, fi uh, close to 16 million transactions. Now I want you to understand, for a proof of work chain, for a proof of work consensus mechanism to run that many transactions, it just doesn't happen. It's pretty much unheard of. And Casper did that in one day with one token. So, as the ecosystem grows, as more projects are launched on Caspa, as more of these initiatives, the key initiative, the oil and uh, refinery initiative, any initiative you want to put in there, right? Once that starts to take shape, Caspa has already proven it can handle the workload with the safety and security of proof of work and why people have continued to flock to projects like Bitcoin, like Ethereum in the early days. And so a lot of exciting things are happening. I did mention a couple of exchange listings. I know the community is waiting for the, the big one, which is going to be cracking soon. Uh, they did get a couple of smaller exchange listings. By Economy listed Caspa over the last couple of days, as did uh, Let's Exchange.io. Uh, but one, uh, one exchange that is the uh, only fully regulated United States cryptocurrency exchange that listed Caspa a while ago, and not only listed Caspa, but it's starting to list KRC20 tokens is Pionex. Now, I do have word um, that very, very soon we'll get the official listing of the Nacho token. So this will be the first KRC20 token to be listed on a U.S. regulated centralized exchange. That is absolutely exciting. But I mentioned at the beginning of this video how to make money while the price action of Caspa is kind of boring. It's consolidating, it's choppy. Okay, fine, right? How do we trade it? Well, there's one trading strategy I've identified and it is the infinite grid strategy. Let me explain it to you really quick. So we take a look on the far left, you can see here, and I go over this uh, almost every Caspa video just to kind of show you guys that although the price might be trending down in the short term, you're still able to make money with your Caspa. So there's a grid AI trading strategy on the seven day, that is up 51%. And the infinite grid strategy, which is what I'm going to talk about today, that is up 22%. Now, it's super easy with Pionex. I'm actually going to leave a link in the comment section and in the description of this video so you can go uh, create an account, sign up, and they're doing a special giveaway for Sin City users. You deposit like 350 bucks or 300 bucks, you get a free $100 free $10. Uh, so infinity, uh, infinity grid bot. All you got to go is go to trade trading bots. You scroll down here and you hit create on the infinity grid bot. Now there's two ways to do this. You can either do this using their AI strategy. Or you can completely customize it yourself. The beauty of this thing is once you set your lower parameter limit, and there's a video explaining in full detail. I'll drop that link in the description of the video as well. But this essentially allows you to keep the same position of Caspa you have now, but scalp profits along the way as the price moves one, two, three percent to the upside, one, two, three percent to the downside. Or if it keeps going to the downside, it does not matter. As long as the price does not drop below your lower limit, you are going to continue to scalp profits. And one thing I did highlight on here from the Pionex website, in short, 
Whatever the price does, the Infinity Grid Bot will make sure your BTC value in dollars always stays the same. And with every single change, you make a small profit. Whether you start with $500, $1,000, $50, does not matter. You can do this. And again, super easy to set up. If it's your first time doing it and you want to try it out, I would just use their AI strategy. That thing, again, is up 22% over the last 30 days. So while you wait for Casper to moon, you can make money on the short ups and downs as the price continues to consolidate and move sideways. Speaking of price, I want to go back to the Caspa chart. I want to zoom out to the daily here. I've had these trend lines drawn for a while. If you've been watching our Caspa videos, you know these trend lines have been up there for at least the last month and a half, two months. And we are currently trading below this lower bound trend line, which is right around 12.9 cents. I want to throw on the price action concepts here from Lux Algo. We're going to take a look at a couple of things. We're going to take a look at price action concepts and where price is. We're going to take a look at the money flow. We're also going to take a look at, hey, where's sentiment? Sentiment is not as bad as you might think. A lot of people, I'm seeing a lot of FUD on social media. Caspa's not doing anything. Oh my God, everyone needs to calm down. Caspa had a massive rise up, similar to what we saw with Cardano. Smart contracts were introduced. Cardano's price started going down. Caspa, big run up into the smart contracts. Smart contracts were introduced. Price starts to trend down. Don't, don't try to figure out why. It is what it is. But we do know that as the ecosystem continues to grow, Caspa's only place to go is up as long as, again, the ecosystem continues to grow. So going back to the chart here on the daily, um, this key area here, right around 12.43 cents, which we're not too far off, this is our discount zone on our price action concepts. And I want to point to the last time we dipped into this area. This was back on Thursday, October 17th. We wicked down into our discount zone right around a touching, let's just call it 12 cents, just shy of 12 cents. And what did we have? We had a massive liquidity grab that pushed the price up, and we continued to go from 12.6 cents to a high of 13.9 cents. We are currently just, and I'll measure this just so you can see how minute it is. We're currently about 2% away from the upper end of this discount zone. So this might be a good swing trade opportunity for you as well. Unless you're looking, also, if you're looking to just add to your position for your long-term hold, this would be a great area to pick some Caspa up. We take a look at the money flow. Money has been flowing in, so it's been net positive since September 14th with the exception of one day. And it has actually been ramping up, started to decrease, and it's starting to ramp up again. Well, why isn't price moving? There is a discrepancy there, and we will see this thing eventually start to converge as a divergence lessens. Sentiment is currently still below our midline. So this is not a indicator to trade right now unless we do see a break above it. But at the end of the day, long-term, uh, Caspa, nothing has changed, guys. Everyone needs to calm down. All this, uh, Caspa's not doing anything. Caspa's dead. Everyone relax. We saw it run up four, five, six X. It had a little bit of a cool off. It's consolidating. It's fine. We can make money with the Infinity Grid bot. We can make money when the price goes up. We can also make money on KRC20 tokens. Speaking of KRC20 tokens, let's take a look here. Still leading far and away is going to be the Nacho token. Now, this is the cat of BlockDad co-author uh, Sh uh, Shai Wyborski, currently sitting at a sub $60 million market cap. I truly believe that as Casper's ecosystem approaches that $25, $30, $50 billion, we will see one, maybe two or three billion dollar meme coin projects. And I believe Nacho is at the very top of that. Again, with the exchange listing coming very soon on Pionex, we take a look at the top addresses, right? What is happening with the addresses? Is money moving away from big wallets and into smaller wallets? We take a look here. This is your crab wallets. The wallets that hold between 100 and 1,000 Casper tokens. Over the last seven, uh, seven days, almost 20,000 new wallets have been added. Over the last 30 days, almost 25,000. While we've seen an outflow across all time frames for wallets that hold between 1 and 10 million Casper tokens, with the 100 million to 1 billion holders decreasing by 2 over the last 30 days. What is the importance of this? What does this tell me? This tells me that retail is starting to use Caspa. As the KRC20 token, uh, KRC20 ecosystem continues to grow, we're going to see the crab, octopus, and the fish wallets continue to grow and diversify, potentially taken away from the large whales, which you want to see uh, for stability and kind of disbursement of the activities. Also, taking a look at the dashboard, 
Uh, we saw Caspa hit, again, that 16 million transactions in one day. Currently, in real time, doing 15, 16 transactions per second with 1.3 blocks per second. 10 blocks per second is coming with a crescendo. Hard fork should be coming around Q2, Q3 of next year, as far as I know right now. So, at the end of the day, short-term price action doesn't really matter. In fact, we can use it to make money. Use the link in the description. Also, don't fade Caspa. You'll really be sorry. Hope you enjoy the content. Make sure to come back next time. Come check out our live show Monday through Friday at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. We'll see you in the next one. Peace.